Hello everyone, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today we're gonna do a sound test. So I made this speaker in a build video I did a few weeks ago. Uh, if you haven't seen that video yet, you should probably check it out. I'll put a link right up here. The goal of this speaker build was to demonstrate that you don't need a whole bunch of tools and skills to build a Bluetooth speaker. Um, I built this speaker with a few basic tools, uh, a drill, circular saw, and a framing square, pretty much. Um, you can find links to everything I used, including the tools and electronics, uh, down in the description. I put links. Check them out. I just want to take a quick second to thank everyone that supports me and what I do on this channel through Patreon. Um, you really are helping me to continue making videos, so thank you. On Patreon, every month I give away a speaker that I build on this channel or one of my Bluetooth speaker kits. Um, I'm also gonna be adding new rewards over the next few months, including Patreon-only t-shirts. I'm really excited about that. Uh, if you wanna find out any more information, you can check it out right up here. Thanks. Okay, so sound quality was not at the top of my list of goals while building the speaker. And I think that'll reflect in the sound test. But I do think it sounds good enough for a first speaker build. And it gets you started. That's the most important part. So, let's test it. Okay, so what did you think? Uh, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts down in the comments. I think it could have been better, and I actually think it could have sounded better even with my original goals. The first thing I would do if I was to remake this would be to separate the woofers within the enclosure. So I would put a piece of wood within the enclosure. You couldn't do it right down the middle because the tweeter and the volume knob is right there, but you do it a little bit off to the side, um, and that would separate the ch uh, enclosure chambers, audio chambers, whatever, for uh, the individual woofers. So when they're playing within the speaker, uh, those sound uh, reverberations aren't hitting each other and canceling each other out within the enclosure. Um, you don't have to worry about the tweeter. The tweeter doesn't need its own enclosure. All you're really worried about is the woofers. The second thing I'd do would be to add some weather stripping or some kind of sealer uh, around the back panel uh, so the whole enclosure is airtight. Um, it's really important with sealed speakers and ported speakers that the enclosure itself 
is sealed. Um, no air should be moving in and out of the enclosure that you don't specifically want to be moving in and out of the enclosure. I think that would also uh, increase the low end of this particular speaker. Even if you don't make those changes, I still think it's worth building the speaker or a speaker, any speaker to start, because you can reuse the components. So you can build a speaker, a simple one, kind of like this, use it for a little while, a month, two months, um, and then while you're researching new designs, new techniques, create something new and use the same uh, components. So you're investing in those components and you, those can grow with you as you grow within the hobby. Um, so, you know, there's some investment up front, but uh, it's not too bad in the long run. Anyway, I'm excited to hear what you guys think. Chat it up down in the comments. Um, I, if you guys don't know, I have a website that has uh, speaker building kits, building plans, and there's even free speaker building plans to get you started. So if you want to check those out, hit this link. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next build. Bye. Uh, the cord. I can go.